Uh, this is an easy question. LASIK, we basically use eczema. <clears throat> Audio is an issue for the online students. Please check that. Maybe, where is this sound coming from? <clears throat> Audio is an issue for them. The sound is coming from outside. Huh? Fine, eh? can you just put on that? Don't mind. You can put on that. Uh, ah, okay. You can put on that uh, smaller fan so that uh, they'll have. Uh, <coughs> it's the same regular mic, right? <coughs> Yeah, clear but low. Clear but low. Why the voice is low? Clear but low. Yeah. Make this changing, sir. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, it must be now much more clear. Huh? <clears throat> All right. Just listen uh, and check from the online. All right. So eczema is the answer. Most of you might have answered. Cobblestone. No big deal. Spring catra. Then um, subconjunctival hemorrhage. You might have coughed out the correct answer. Oofing cough. Then, uh, ha, this is the another killer killer question. Killer question. What is your answer, doctor, for the acute hydrops? Conus globus. Conus globus. What is your answer? Other than that, don't tell Biftalmos. Anybody answer? Ah, very good. So, yes. Biftalmos, we have some sympathizers. Anybody for Conus or Globus can raise the, uh, <clears throat> can raise the hand. So, the ultimate answer is Keratoconus is what need to be remembered. Corneal hydrops is an uncommon complication in these patients with keratoconus, where there is a significant corneal edema with a spontaneous rupture in the decimates membrane due to the degenerative changes is what need to be remembered. Oh. Ciliary staphyloma. How many of you answered myopia? Uh, oh, 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 I thought. Because uh, yesterday when we have kept the polling, uh, when we kept the polling, then a lot of students uh, answered it as myopia, degenerative myopia. That causes posterior staphyloma. Karna lost the battle because he forgot one mantram. So that is the kind of uh, mistake uh, is this question. No problem. So as the name itself implies, it is a bulge from a weak sclera lined by the ciliary body and that weakness occurs when there is a thinning of the sclera because of any penetrating injury, scleritis or absolute glaucoma are the ones which are responsible for the development is what need to be remembered. <clears throat> now this is another tough question, let me tell you. Unless you are very, very good in elimination skill. Let me check how good you are in. What is your answer, doctor? Please uh, pour out your possible answer. Yes, yes. Huh? You have to fight your answers now. Ezithromycin is drug of choice. Let us start from what we are sure. Known uh, towards unknown. Yeah, then... Rifampicin can be used because there was an auditory hallucination sounding into our ears. Huh? Okay, anything else? Ah, Rifampicin can be used. What else can be used? Huh? Huh? Erythromycin is used. So finally we will throw the blame game on? 
Ivermectin. Very good. Even Raj and uh, uh, Jabalpur also is answering B. And Pahima also says Ivermectin. Very good. But that is not the correct answer. Rifampsin is an auditory hallucination there. We use azithromycin, erythromycin. Ivermectin is also known to have an effect upon uh, the uh, chlamydia. It has a killing effect on chlamydia. So, don't worry. You answered, uh, you didn't answer, you correctly answered means luckily you answered this question. There is no guarantee. If the question would have been, uh, what is the drug of choice and uh, you didn't answer erythromycin, you need to cry. But this, uh, it's a sheer luck. Huh? So, erythromycin, tetracycline, sulfacetamide and uh, ivermectin is known to inhibit the growth of the chlamydia is what you have to fundamentally appreciate. Now, Moraxella lacunata, Axenfield's organism, what is your answer? Caucus bacillus, caucus bacillus, that is called as entrance. What is your answer? Huh? You want to say diplococci? Okay. Hmm? Gram negative or positive? Negative cocci? Very sure, cocci. I do remember reading it as cocci, but it is not cocci. I only discovered yesterday night. So, <clears throat> Pahima answers gram positive diplococci. It is totally out of uh, the expectation. Raj proposes gram negative bacilli. Gram negative diplo bacilli is the correct uh, answer, doctor. It is a rod shaped gram negative non motile bacteria generally present as a diploid pair. It is the Morax axon field diplobacillus is what you have to ultimately remember. <clears throat> Still this voice is low. You need to improve me on the voice. Now, our cla classmate Hema always is the softest in the class. So, Hema is basically what? Huh? Soft lens. Very good. Very, very traditional question. No challenge. Methyl methacrylate is known for its hardness and strength. Silicon is known to increase the flexibility. And uh, um, the HEMA is the softest in the class. Now, uh, corneal thickness, patchy meter. There can't be any other auditory hallucination whispering in our ears. So that brings quickly to the end of uh, ophthalmology. So tell me doctor, how many mortalities? Scoring, scoring is important. Cricket, uh, every over is over. Uh, we need to look at scoring. Patchy meter, everybody will answer. Okay. Then uh, Hema, everyone will answer. Then what else? Ha, this is uh, a quagmire. 50-50. Those who are unlucky that day can't answer. Uh, this is also 50-50. Two questions are shaky. Then uh, Staphyloma, if you did wrong, uh, unpardonable. That means you only read cataract, glaucoma and passed MBBS ophthalmology. Huh? Then uh, uh, this is 50-50. Acute hydrops, to guess it as uh, precisely keratoconus is difficult. Then uh, conjunctival hemorrhage, everyone will answer. Cobblestone, everyone answers. Lassic, everyone answers. Equus flare, everyone will answer. So, what is the score? 7 out of 10 in ophthalmology are achievable. Huh? 3, God knows. Let me check. Raj, how many? Raj says 6 out of 10. So, earlier he got 8 out of 10. No, there is indigestion. So, there is a reason uh, 7 out of 10 kebina, 6 out of 10. Very good, not problem. Overall average, 
you are making it quite good that's good now let us take up the plunge of uh, the next bout of questions from where do these questions come from doc the toughest subject in the entire world gynecology and obstetrics if you master it is as good as mastering vedas and upanishads one of my classmates uh, who got in pg h and he said that so bro presentation easiest question what is your answer mento vertical very good normal involution when will uterus become pelvic organ second week in human beings who are normal then uh, for the reasons uh, so the first two questions are easy what is our deal before you go, had gone to the exam 30 out of 30 you should get in obstetrics if you are in the top 30 ranks in the entrance exam eh? so all right for the rhesus positive newborn of a rhesus negative mother i mean rhesus isomerization what is your answer doctor confident answer please bilirubin bilirubin level of 10 is unacceptable so what is the golden number 20 easy question so the 20 is jocularly referred as vignity phobia because everybody will be waiting for the 20 before they initiate uh, the phototherapy etc etc so 20 is a very very important uh, number uh, which we need to basically remember <clears throat> now which is not severe preeclampsia the other day we had a question no preeclampsia me pedal edema nahi hai so preeclampsia me seizures nahi hai easy question no challenge then uh, till now out of the four questions in obstetrics one only is little 50 50 huh? now oligohydramnios very easy question what is your answer ha huh? rhesus immunization is the one leading to poly instead of oligohydramnios very good then for the ultrasound how much should be the amniotic fluid index 50 50 unless you have done dgy in preparing for md no no but uh, if you prepare for entrance uh, seriously without even going to single day also obstetrical ultrasound room still you will answer this yes 25 25 you all agree with that very good so this is not uh, difficult that's what i am telling obstetrics may if something is difficult means uh, it is obstructed labor for everybody it won't happen like that for everyone it is a precipitate answer should pour out of the mouth uh, i mean the mind uh, so then uh, what is precipitate labor Ah, the easy question. Actually, this would have been slightly made more complicated. Eh? Yeah, what is your answer? Everybody answered A. No. So you want to say first and third option, first and second stages of the labour, less than two hours. Any other answer? Easy question. So what is the rate of cervical dilatation more than how many centimeters per hour? you call it as precipitate 5 very good 5 more than 5 cm per hour so that's the reason the answer will be c which is the correct answer that's good 